Tesla have just changed the motors in the Cybertruck, guys. I mean, this is a pretty cool upgrade here. Tesla has already, you know, only a few months after the, the vehicle's gone on sale, changed the motors in the Cybertruck. Apparently, they're going to have more power and potentially higher efficiency. And Tesla's now saying to existing owners, guys, bring in your Cybertruck. We'll make the change, the upgrade for you free of charge. That's actually pretty much what's happening. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. As you know, guys, I'm a fan of the Cybertruck. Yes, I know a lot of people are not, but still, uh, I believe Tesla has a lot of pre-orders, and that's the reason why you might be able to buy the non-Founders Series Cybertruck until, well, until probably November of this year. So Tesla charging a premium because it can because it has enough pre-orders to do so. Tesla has reached out to existing Cybertruck customers to tell them, bring your truck in, we'll replace the drive units for no charge. Not because of a recall, there's not a recall here, there's not a def not as far as I know a faulty part, it's just because Tesla have changed, or they've upgraded the existing motors that they've now putting in all the new Cybertrucks, and so Tesla's what, what, probably thinking wouldn't be fair for these existing owners not to get the upgrade as well. This news was shared by Kyle Connor of Out of Spec Studios with a screenshot of his conversation with Tesla Service. Well, this is what the message from Tesla said. Replace one of your current drive units with the latest production pedigree, which is intended to improve efficiency and reliability. Now, speaking of reliability, I have not heard of any Cybertruck motor problems. I mean, you know, there's things like overheating and stuff, but there hasn't been any actual motor problems. So, this is a bit of a surprise. I mean, you'd think if Tesla are doing this because of issues with you know reliability, we would have heard of some problems, but as far as I know, there hasn't been any problems. But the efficiency improvement, what might this do, guys? Well, it's very likely that this change will increase range. Remember Tesla did a, an over-the-air software update to Model 3s back in, I think it was 2020, around then? and they improved range by 5% simply with a software upgrade. Well, it's possible Tesla will do something similar um, with these existing vehicle Cybertrucks. So maybe these Cybertrucks will come back with these new motors and have more range. I mean, if Tesla is saying they're improving the efficiency, that's what should happen. Owners are saying um, they've received these messages. Pretty much all Cybertruck owners are getting this message. One user reported having an all-wheel drive dual motor Cybertruck um, some people with tri-motors are getting it. So it doesn't matter if you've got a tri-motor or a dual motor, both versions are getting this new motor. That's assuming you want it, and I'm guessing you probably would. Now, I don't know if there's any validity to this or this is true or not. Apparently there's uh, a couple of people in the forum that have said there's a slight vibration in the drivetrain, but that hasn't been a big story. I don't know if that's a common thing. Sounds like it's probably not, otherwise that would have been blown up in the media. But anyway, that was something mentioned by a couple of owners, slight vibration in their drivetrain. Tesla actually launched voluntary recalls in late June for an improperly adhered trunk bed trim and a windshield wiper motor issue. Uh, Tesla are still delivering the Foundation Series trucks because like I said, they have more than 2 million pre-orders, or at least they did uh, when pre-orders were, when we saw the numbers about six months ago. How many have they got now? I don't know. But Tesla did just do another upgrade as well. That was to increase charging speed. Apparently Tesla are basically rolling out software upgrades over their upgrade updates that will you know, improve the charging speed of the Cybertruck. Enabling, it should be enabling 350 kilowatt charging at of course chargers that are capable of putting out that kind of speed. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are about this upgrade. Um, do you think the Cybertruck is a vehicle that I mean, have you placed a pre-order? If you did, will you go ahead with your order? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.